In today's mini lesson, we will be answering the essential question, why is reading important in my life and how can I get better at reading? Think, when and where do you use reading? How do you think your life would be different if you could not read? Pause the video to have a few students share their thoughts with the class. Let's review slant and the importance of good listening. What is slant and why does it help you to be a good listener? Pause the video and have the students respond. The teacher may either give you a piece of paper to fold in half or ask you to draw a line down the middle of your paper, perhaps in your reading notebook in part four where we take notes from read-alouds, shared reading, or mini lessons like this one. And at the top, we are going to label the two columns, importance and getting better. Now. We will have teacher assigned partnerships discuss with each other why they think reading is an important part of your lives. And I want you to list your ideas on paper. Only one of you has to write them in unless you both really want to. You will have two minutes and then the teacher will ask each group to share one answer of what they wrote so every group is going to get a turn first and then hear the rest of their answers in the first column as they want to share with the class. Your class's list of answers might have included, I learn by reading, I communicate by reading, reading is fun, to make a living for my family I need to be able to read, there are few things I can do in life that don't involve reading, Reading road signs to drive. We are going to repeat this activity of what we just now did, but thinking about this second column. How can you get better at reading since it is such an important part of our lives? Pause the video and then come back after partnerships have had two minutes to brainstorm and write down responses, and then the teacher has had the partners share with the whole class. Some answers may have included reading every day, reading a variety of genres, writing about what I read, thinking carefully about what I read, using reading strategies when I don't understand, reading a just right book to practice reading and to stretch myself as a reader. Your teacher will read you Six Crows by Leo Leone and model the five finger retell. Remember, during the read aloud, we are looking for students modeling slant. Students will have 20 minutes of independent, sustained reading time. After that, students will practice with their book club, discussion groups, and answer the following questions together after seeing it being modeled by their teacher. What's the five finger retell on the book you are reading? Could you share setting, characters, Problem, events, beginning, middle, ending, BME, and or solution with your book club. If you have not finished the book yet, which probably is a lot of you, tell the first three to four fingers and predict how the story will end in your mind. The last two fingers, what you think is going to happen. And don't forget to start filling in your reading log for the day. In-class reading counts too.